uh, was working uh, with the radio Northwest Radiation Health Alliance, uh, Dr. Rudy Newsbaum and Charlie Grossman, who are uh, were uh, involved uh, for a long time in, in working with uh, on the downwinder issue. Oh, sorry. Okay, and uh, why don't you go ahead? Thanks. Thank you. It's a tough act to follow, John. <laughs> um, that was all the uh, scientific explanation. And I'm here to... Can we remove this? Yeah, I'll take care of that. I am a Hanford Downwinder. I'm one of those people that all that mess has affected physically, emotionally. My health, I have had a life of medicalization. I was born in the Dalles on the Columbia River in 1947, and that plant went online in 1944. Some of the biggest releases happened uh, in those first 10 years. The eight reactor stacks were completely unfiltered, so there were exposures through the air. The river, of course, was very, very contaminated. Some of the statistics over half a million curies of just iodine-131 was sent down the river, washing down the river uh, at one point. Um, sometimes five to 10,000 curies a day have been counted. But I didn't know that until I was 43 years old. It was a big secret, and that's one of the hideous parts of this whole story, is that the population surrounding this plant was never told that we were being contaminated. And lots of people say, oh, you downwinders, you, you have the same diseases and illnesses that everybody else has. What makes you so special? It's the excesses of diseases, the excesses of cancers, tumors, uh, aborted children, miscarriages, uh, genetic mutations, which I have some myself. Um, I was born in the Dallas. At that point, there were no dams on the river. The McGarry Dam, the John Day Dam, the Dallas Dam had not been built. So that water running down the Columbia, by my hometown, was straight from cooling off the reactor cores and being put right back in the river. Um, then I moved closer to Hanford when I was a young girl. I moved to Hermiston, Oregon, which is seven miles off the Columbia and the town of Umatilla. And without knowing, my life as a child was what kids do, play outside, go chase jackrabbits, swim in the irrigation canals, which were pumping water out of the Columbia to irrigate the fields, uh, riding inner tubes down that, stealing watermelons, tossing them on the ground, wiping off the dust, which little did we know was full of contaminants, and eating the hearts out of the watermelons. And, but throughout this period, until 1986, when the documents were released that showed what had happened, uh, lots of us, my family, friends, community members, all across the Northwest, had these anomalous medical conditions that no one knew how to treat. I was on what I call the medical mystery tour. You go to